second straight month concealed weapons in county buildings was the center of debate during the Beaufort County Commissioner's meeting. WNCT's Josh Birch was at that meeting. And Josh, what did commissioners decide tonight? Well, Angela, after some lengthy debate, commissioners once again shot down that motion to allow concealed weapons in county buildings. And this comes after some commissioners actually changed their votes from December. What was still clear was this issue is still extremely divisive. All opposed. <clears throat> Three, four, it failed. That is a trump on the constitutional rights of the citizens of Beaufort County. Another month, another failed motion to allow concealed weapons in Beaufort County buildings, but not before a lot of debate between commissioners and county residents. Will you let me finish, Gary Brand? I never did that to you. The issue of concealed carry is not only a personal right, but it's a God given right as set forth by the founding fathers that established this constitution. William Cratch was just one of the county residents who addressed commissioners in support of allowing concealed weapons in county buildings. Commissioner Gary Brin changed his vote in favor of it, but one vote was still needed. For Commissioner Ron Buzio to go along, he wanted several conditions to be met, which included only allowing county employees to have concealed weapons, mandating extra training, and studying security in all buildings. I want to base it upon what is actually needed for the county. And in this situation, how do we protect, protect, protect the county employees? What Mr. Buzio has done is presume that our employees are incapable of exercising good judgment. However, those commissioners in favor of the motion, like Hood Richardson, strongly disagreed with those conditions. He has effectively killed this motion. Following the vote, Chairman Jerry Langley made a motion to not bring up the issue again for another six months, which passed four to three. Now, commissioners also discussed courthouse security. All employees with offices in the courthouse will be given cards to enter the back. Law enforcement and attorneys will have to enter the front but won't go through metal detectors. Everyone else will have to pass through security. Josh Birch, 9 on your side.